This training and the smoky pores oxygen therapy kits is aimed at those organisations, predominantly emergency response organisations, that have already trained their personnel to use and deliver oxygen, that have clinical governance that supports their organisation, and who have the ability to supply oxygen cylinders uh, as part of their response role. What's really important as an organisation adopting this equipment is that you've considered the policy for their use and that you've given sufficient training and PPE to the uh, responders who will be operating the equipment and think about the foreseeable situations where you may need to use it and plan for those events. As 50% of the population own pets, there's a good chance that we're going to encounter animals operationally. And that may be through a variety of emergencies. So what's really important is that you've thought about the fact that you will encounter animals and that organisationally you're prepared, you have the right people that you can call on to support you in the event that you need specialist advice. Any incident involving animals can be unpredictable and as we know animals aren't always happy to see us or to accept help in the same way that humans are. So there are three key principles that we want to impart when we're thinking about delivering medical care or pre-veterinary emergency care to animals. First one is to protect yourself. So you need to remove any chance of being injured through bites and scratches from the animal. The second one is making sure that no other responder or no other member of the public is injured. And that requires you to have a good understanding of control of that animal, restraint or containment. The third point is really important. Under the Animal Welfare Act, we may have temporary responsibility for that animal at the scene of the incident. And it's really important that we've made provision for its containment and its control uh, so that it doesn't escape and that we remain in control of that animal throughout the incident. Barter recommend that any companion animal that's unconscious or been through a trauma, smoke inhalation or suffering respiratory distress receives oxygen as part of the supportive care that we as emergency responders can give. And the term that we give to this is pre-veterinary immediate emergency care. One of the things that we really must stress is that any animal that's suffered trauma or smoke inhalation should see definitive veterinary care as soon as possible. And this should be factored into any operational plan.